Hi everybody, all my followers, everybody from YouTube. Um, right, so not long ago, I'll leave the the link on the description uh, below uh, for a video that I've done uh, show you how to reset, sorry, how to clone, reset or virginize um, a BSI from a Pedro 307 at that time. And uh, what I have here today is I'm going to show you how to recode, reprogram, if that's the name, um, a blank ECU. So this case, in this car, was exactly the same uh, procedure. I've tried to clone, it didn't work. So what I've done this time is I've actually uh, tried to uh, virginize. So I've virginized the ECU. Uh, the car came back to life. So basically what was happening was stalkers were constantly running back and forwards. Uh, deep beams was on as soon as you turn the ignition on and uh, nothing would respond um, nothing would uh, respond stalkers wouldn't work the car wouldn't start stop lights and the petrol light would flash constantly uh, that screen would be completely blank uh, so a, a lot of issues with the car uh, which I've traced it down to a faulty BSI so I got a second hand BSI I've done the same procedure as I've done on the video click on the link uh, but I virginized the ECU uh, I've tried a copy first it didn't work probably the the EP ROM on the ECU was actually corrupted as well maybe uh, so I virginized and I'm now back to recode the ECU and the BSI so I've connected the BSI and one of the things I mentioned on that video as well uh, and watch the video so you understand a little bit more how the mileage works uh, between BSI and cluster and all that so as you can see the 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 mileage came back straight so it was a, a virginized issue and the mileage came back straight away to where it should be uh, to the original mileage from the car um, and uh, I've plugged um, I'm gonna have to get my camera holder um, so I've connect uh, PP2000 to the car and when the PP2000 tries to read the BSI, the data from the BSI, that's what comes up with because obviously the ECU is blank so I'm gonna get a hold of the camera holder so we can have a better uh, and steady video just, just hold it a second okay, uh, as I was saying this is the first screen on here we'll just press OK so I do apologize if you heard some noise outside I have the car jumped at the moment to keep the battery voltage just press OK and we're going to go Pedro Planet. So the dumb number, which I'm going to take the dumb number. The dumb number, if you don't know, is usually on the door seal. It's nine one zero nine on this car and press OK ok I had to pause the video because it takes a little bit longer so we go ECU uh, configuration and uh, service I'm gonna go test by ECU we're gonna go BSI it's okay okay so we go under configuration Sorry, initialization and learning. And we go to that one in there. So, that is telling you that you need the pin code for this. Uh, module I'm gonna press okay I'm 
that's the pin code. So the exit code has been learned. We press enter. It's asking me for it again. We are having some problems here. Okay, so the, the code is now uh, done. We're going to program the the VIN number. It's going to be here. Okay, VIN number is there. So we'll press configuration. So configuration has been carried out. It's okay. Now we'll go back. No, I don't want that. Okay, so next step now uh, is going to be I'm going to cycle the key. Key off. Key on. And we're going to try to is is present. Switch off the ignition. Is our none is missing, drugs is missing. Radio. What radio? I think it's other. Alarm is missing, I'm sure the alarm is missing, there's no alarm, nope. Uh climate control is missing. There's a lot of TVCU. Parking aid. Uh, the changer is actually present. Sunroof is not. Subsent, but it's absent. Flywheel and the sensor. Automatic, no. That's it. I think. <laughs> Carry it out. Okay. Now go back. Okay, so after all this, um, what you need to do is you need to cycle uh, PP2000 again. So, as you can see now, it loaded all the information. As you can see, including Engine number, chassis number, so I loaded everything, okay? So I just turn the key off, close PP2000, open it again, and uh, it will come now with everything loaded. Um, I know this is not being a very straight video because I'm doing the, I haven't done this for quite a long time. Um, well, saying that I've done this about a month ago, but it's always, it's always <laughs> when you don't do this every day. So I'm just doing it as I go along. So, just bear in mind that, but I will make sure I will take you through every single step. <coughs> so, 
So we did uh, learn the code. Uh, then we went and we learned the VIN number. Then um, we did the ECU's uh, present. I still need to see the radio because I'm not sure about the radio and uh, and that. But uh, yeah, we did those two. And um, I think it's going to be a few more things that we're going to have to do though. Okay, so you asked me for some things now. Vanity mirror. There's a no and no as well. So it doesn't have those two options. Enter. There's other things that we're going to have to do because... Um, okay, so... Because I think this, for example, is not, for, is not set up for a left-hand drive or right-hand drive. So the switches on the door are going to be the opposite. So there's a, there's a few other things that we're going to still have to do. We're going to go ECU configuration and service again. Test by ECU. Built-ins interface. Yeah. Okay. So we need to... Get the keys learned first. Actually, let's going to see... Parameter measurements. Immobilizer. So engine control unit locked. Yes, it is. Transponder mark. No. Number of keys zero. As you can see, is all zeros down here. So it's not a blank key, uh, BSI anymore because we programmed it already. There's no remote control. BSI paired with engine management. It's no. So we're gonna have to do all that. So let's gonna go back. Back again, and let's gonna go there now. So it's gonna ask me for the code. There one. And hopefully now will take me to the next screen. Okay, something's not going right for some reason. Okay, so that's it now. <coughs> you asked me for the code, so a number of uh, belong the keys to the vehicle. Uh, it's going to be two keys. I only, I am only on possession of one. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I have two blank transponders here. So I have two blank. I'm going to show you two blank transponders. This is a uh, ID46, and is the PC. F7936 that's the transponders you need so I want to learn two keys okay press enter unlock the vehicle and remove the key so the vehicle is already unlocked gonna remove the key what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the key now I'm gonna open the key. Hold on a second. I'm going to put a blank transponder. I'm not going to tie it too much. Finish it on. Switch on the ignition key one learning. Why is it not detecting? Ignition off.
Come on. Probably took too long. Maybe. Okay, let's gonna try this again. One M Q. Okay, so I'm gonna have to start this again. Okay. off okay so I'm doing it again and it's working fine uh, so as soon as I came off the ECU and started all the process again, then it'll be quicker. So it worked straight away, as you can see. Uh, when uh, keys are already learned, I press OK. So remove the key. Switch ignition, turn the other key. So I'm changing the transponder now. Go correctly learned. Press enter. You have just programmed two keys. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, uh, synchronize the high frequency remote controls. So there's a there's a procedure a procedure in there on how to program the remote controls. As you can see, you don't need the machine for that. It's just that you need to do. Okay. So I'm going to press enter, you can pause if you want to read the wall law. And okay, so the keys should be learned now. And let's going to go back out of the, completely out of the ECU. There we are. I'm going to turn the ignition off. Leave it off for a few seconds. Gonna close one key. Gonna put the other transponder in this little bag. So when I get the other key, I just need to uh, change the transponder, and it will be two keys again. Okay, so I'm gonna turn key back on, ignition back on. And I'm going to uh, log in into the BSI again. Okay, uh, false reading first. Oh, there's a few things in there that I'm gonna, as you can see. Well, that actually is probably from before. Let me have a look if it is before we actually. Yes, I read the folds. No, it does not what I want. Is that one in there? Okay. Okay, no problem. You want me to read the fault logs, but I'm not going to do that now. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so let's gonna see. Uh, it's gonna go there. Immobilize again. Engine control unit locked. No. Transponder. Yes. Two keys. Engine error management. Yes. So, according to this, we should have a starting engine now. 
um, there's no reason why the engine is not going to start although before I attempt to start the engine I want to go back and what I want to do I want to go under configuration okay uh, customer options uh, Okay, driving, 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 driving school vehicle. That's why we have a code in there. So obviously this is not a driving school vehicle. Uh, this is a right hand side. That's for the for the buttons on the door. Mode, it's in customer mode. Okay, so let's gonna configure that. Okay, so that should be done. Switch on the ignition. Ignition on. Okay, so that's done. Uh, I'm in economy mode, so I can't really work on the. I can't really try the the windows, but I'll try that later. Alarm. Locking and unlocking. See if there's anything here that type of locking. Okay, nothing programmed. Dead locking, just locking. I don't know if it's dead locking, so that way I'll play safe. Central locking, present location it says it's present. I'll leave that. Okay, configuration switch off ignition. Configuration carried out. I don't know if you heard the locks going. Switch on the ignition. Okay, uh, fuel information. Let me see what we have here. I think I'm just going to go through all of them. Fuel type diesel, that's correct. So I just go back on that one. Uh, passenger, passenger compartment. Okay, navigation absent, presence of radio on the van network that's gonna be present RT3 I need to see what this RT3 is a monochrome steering wheel radio control is actually present I need to see that uh, RT3 uh, see exactly which radio is here I'm not sure what which radio is that so if I need to come back to configure that I will come back so the login curse, let's carry it out. Okay, switch on ignition. Okay, that's done. Let's go back. Engine compartment. Switch off ignition. Okay, uh, dust filter fab. I'm not sure if this is present. I'm gonna have to look on the engine ECU. And then come back. Uh, Warring diesel. So some of these I'm gonna have to check. I should have probably take all this information before. But ESP. I don't think it does have ESP. Let me have a look. Oh. I think he does have ESP actually. It looks like he has uh, ESP, so it's gonna configure that one because it's present. I think you got the picture, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on uh, finishing this off, um, and then um, and then I'll come back when we're gonna try to start the engine. Uh, but I think you got the picture. So you you need to go through every single settings here. And um, and try to um, and try to match the car. Obviously, if you had the option to check the car before, our conditioning is actually with. If you had a chance to check the the one before, uh, 
um, the better. You could take all this uh, information and then it's just a matter of putting them in on this one. Because I didn't. Um, because um, I couldn't um, get... I couldn't read this to you at all. Um, so I had to do it like this. Okay, so you got the picture, guys. Uh, just uh, I'm going to finish and come back when uh, we are ready to start the engine. Okay, so I'm now ready to attempt to start the engine. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know what's going to happen, but let's go and have a look. First time, I'm really happy. Fantastic. That was really nice. So we have some warning lights, but uh, the engine is running, which is good. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go through what the problem is in there now, it just says anti-pollution fault. Um, I think the important uh, bit is that it's running, uh, and uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, it's, um, it's, um, it's how you uh, reprogram a virgin or a blank uh, uh, BSI on the 307 um, once again I know it's a 20 minute video already I uh, just to apologize for when I was uh, doing it it didn't went straight first time um, I haven't done this uh, I don't do this every single day so sometimes you start to forget exactly how to go through but we got there in the end and that's the important uh, bit um, so yeah so we got um, the BSI a blank BSI reprogrammed uh, we had the keys programmed and the configurations are programmed, um, which obviously I finished them off now. Uh, we just need to see why the engine light is on. But other than that, uh, looks good. So the car is out of economy mode now. And as you can see here, the switches are the correct ones. So everything is working fine. Uh, this, the car came with this uh, window open because the was in uh, economy mode and as you, as you know you can't uh, run a windows or anything uh, while the car is in uh, economy mode anyway guys um, hope um, there's some good information here that you can uh, utilize uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, mainly that any questions comments uh, whatever put them below uh, like I said I'm gonna leave a link under the description to take I've run out space on my phone again uh, so as I was saying, I'm gonna leave a link below that uh, will take you to the that will take you to the link where I show you how to uh, blank the ECU. Uh, hope there is some good information on this video uh, so you can take it further. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, comments? I think I said it already. But any questions, comments, uh, suggestions, just put them below. And um, like always, guys, uh, thank you for watching.